Hey everyone, it's Summer from CGC Comics here. We know that so many of your Ask CGC questions had to do with the JSA launch and how the combined services for comic books would work. I'm here to walk you through the steps on how to submit a comic for JSA Authentic Autograph Certification using the CGC Comics online submission form. The first thing you'll want to do if you're not already a member is to create a CGC account. Go to cgccomics.com and click the Join button on the top right of the page. Now, select the membership type you would like. You can submit to CGC with any account type and the benefits for each account are listed on the join chart. Paid members get discounts on grading and certain accounts even come with a credit that can be used instantly. Once you've chosen the account type that best fits your needs, fill in the join application details. When complete, an email will be sent to you with your collector member number and new sign-in information. Now it's time to sign into your account and start your submission. After signing in, go to the online submission form for comics, magazines, and pulps and select online form. Then start new order. For this demonstration, I'll be showing how to submit a comic. So on this screen, I'll select the comic option. Next, we have the submission type option. For the purposes of this video, we'll be selecting CGC grading, but if you're submitting for one of our many amazing in-house private signings, you would select signature series submission. After you've selected the submission type, you'll select your submission method. Most submissions are submitted using the mail-in or show drop-off option. Once you've selected your submission method, you'll choose your primary services, authentication and grading, pressing, crossover, reholder, restoration removal, or restoration. Most submissions will include grading and pressing, so those are the two I'll select for this example. Our online waiver and consent form pops up when submitting books for grading. Be sure to select Agree once you've read over the information to move on to the next section of the form. If you're looking for special return services like mechanical error return or holder review, this is where you'll find these options. We won't be using those today, so we'll move on to the Select Tier section. Here, you'll see the options Modern, Vintage, High Value, and Unlimited Value. Be sure to select the option that matches the collectible you're submitting. For this example, I'll be selecting a Modern Comic. Next, you'll be able to select add-on services like our grade pre-screen and fast track. This is also where you'll find our JSA autograph authentication option. The autograph authentication fee is per autograph. For this demonstration, I'll be selecting just the JSA autograph authentication add-on. Once you have your add-on selected, you can go ahead and select add comic. On this page, you'll look up your comic by entering the title, issue number, issue date, variant, etc. For this example, I'll be using Venom Lethal Protector number one. Once you've found your book in the comic lookup, you'll enter the quantity you're submitting, along with the declared value based on the fair market value of the comic. Next, you'll search for the autographs to be authenticated in the search bar and add each to the submission. I'll use Mark Bagley and Sam De La Rosa as an example. Below this section, you'll have the option to select JSA Autograph Grade. JSA will grade up to two autographs per book. Also, if you're submitting a book from one of the pedigrees that CGC recognizes, be sure to check the pedigree box and choose the specific pedigree from the drop-down list. Once you're done on this page, you'll select Add Comic, and then you'll have the option to add another comic or review your cart. Once you're done inputting all your comics, you'll select Choose Shipping Method. You'll then fill out the information on this page and enter your payment information. Once you submit your order, you'll receive a confirmation email that includes your order number as well as a link to your packing slip. It's important to note that your packing slip must be included with your submissions and any comics submitted should be in the order listed on your packing slip. Otherwise, it might cause you a delay. And you're all set. Thanks so much for watching this video and we can't wait to see what you guys will be submitting.